Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's live stream concert brought to you by the Singapore National Youth Symphonia. My name is Jinwei and I will be sharing with you more about today's performance. Today's concert is split into two segments. The first session will have the first group of the SNYS perform Benjamin Britten's Simple Symphony. The live stream will then resume at 5 p.m. where our second group of SNYS members will present Carl Nielsen's Suite for String Orchestra, Opus 1. Now I have with me here the conductor of the SNYS, Lin Jen. Hello Jen, how's it going? Very well, thank you. Can you share with us a bit more about today's piece? Well, um, we're going to be playing a piece by an English composer called Benjamin Britten. And the title of this piece is called Simple Symphony. Now this suggests something that is simple, easy, and I suppose it's meant to sound like that. Um, it certainly has very childlike qualities. For example, the titles of the movements, they all sound, you know, very, you know, kid friendly. Um, and also, um, you know, it, this, was, this piece was dedicated to his viola teacher from when he was a child. And a lot of the source material are from little bits of ideas that he had when he was much younger. So a lot of this stems from childhood early experiences. But having said that, this is not an easy piece to play. The third movement, the sentimental saraband, is really such an incredibly emotional piece of music in, in the heart of all these other simpler um, styles of music. And we have our kids plumbing emotional depths, you know, of, of nostalgia, of, of, of love, of sometimes even despair. And it's just a wonderful experience for them. I think we're having a good time uh, going through a piece like that. I heard that you and Benjamin Britten actually go a long way back. I, I think I know what you're talking about. When I was 10 years old, um, the then Singapore Youth Orchestra performed uh, an opera by Benjamin Britten called Noyes Flood. And this is about the story of Noah's Ark. But I wasn't one of the musicians. I was in the orchestra. I was on stage. Um, and so when the animals came in two by two, I was hamster. So we came in and we had to squeak. Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie liaison. Yeah, and the animals were, were saying, uh, Lord have mercy on us. That was the, those were the words I still remember. I think we need to find a photo of that. I think I might still have the headwear. <laughs> <laughs> How has it been then working with the teenagers and the youth in the SNYS this season? Well, as always, it's quite rewarding. It's always quite rewarding. We throw um, a substantial piece of music at them, and we all have, in a usual calendar year, we have maybe um, three months maybe four months of preparation once a week. Um, and in a year like this, there was a lot of disruption, of course. Um, there is a lot of changes in the way we go about organizing ourselves. So if you notice, um, the group sizes are smaller. And as much as I love to have a huge orchestra in front of me, um, I think this smaller size is also, you know, becomes quite intimate, quite cosy. We're able to have a lot more individual attention um, to, to, to the members. Um, and I think everyone's pulling, pulling their weight um, and working hard to deliver a good performance. We have kids who join us due to a very, very uh, deep-seated and very personal love for music. And it's always very nice when this comes through in their playing. Yeah, I think certainly COVID has indeed disrupted the rehearsal for many performers out mm. there. But if there's one positive thing you can take away from this whole experience, what would it be? I think any performance that takes place now, it's almost a miracle. You need to have everyone tested. Everything needs to fall in place. And we never know what the national situation is gonna be. It might be that tomorrow, we can't perform. So I think when we find ourselves in a situation like this, personally, I find that um, 
you can no longer take each performance, each experience for granted. You really have to put yourself 100% into the music. I mean, this is why, we, this is why we, we, we play music, this is why we perform, we conduct, this is why we experience all these great works of art. And I think if we do anything less than what we know we can, um, it really would be quite a pity. I think this is something that I've taken away from this experience, mm. is to really not take anything for granted. When you get a chance to perform, we seize it with both hands. Yeah, mm. I think one really positive thing is that we can perform, and get, yeah. uh, even though there's no live audience, but mm. our viewers out there, at least um, you get to watch us perform. Yeah. So thank you very much for sharing, and now without further ado, off to the Singapore National Youth Symphonia.